In my previous video, someone asked, how about a JT710 and the Ryzen 3 APU working together? So I'll try this in this video. So can this NVIDIA GPU work together with this APU from AMD? Let's try it. 3200G with Vega 8. It's a GTX 650 with 1 gigabyte DDR5 memory. Uh, this GPU consumes very low power, so it doesn't require an extra power cable plugged in. So we plug the HDMI cable to the NVIDIA GPU power on the computer. The GeForce Experience software won't work on this 650 GPU. Maybe it is just too old. Here in the device manager. We can see that only this GPU is activated. The built-in Vega 8 is disabled automatically. Okay, now we restart the computer. And we press delete button on your keyboard to enter the BIOS interface. Okay, we switch to advanced mode. And uh, advanced. And here's a IGFX multi monitor. We change it to enable, and the primary video device we will make it to IGFX video for the buffer size. We can give it one gigabyte. Okay, you press F10, function 10, and OK. Don't forget to connect HDMI from the NVIDIA GPU to the motherboard. So now we can use the Vega 8 built-in. Okay, after a while, if you connected to the internet, you can find that the Windows 10 automatically updated the driver for your Vega 8. And now you can see both the Vega 8 and the GTX 650 are activated. So we may add this OBS 64-bit version and uh, here we can choose the power saving or the high performance. You can choose either of it. So now we can see that both the AMD and NVIDIA control panels are available on this computer. And in the device manager we can see both the Vega 8 and the GTX 650 are activated. And now we can, here in the display setting and the graphic settings, we can choose um, to use which GPU for the software we use.
for the OBS we can set it to use uh, GTX if you want and uh, also we can browse other softwares we can use the DXVA checker to check the supporting for the decoding the decoders here shows the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 we can see this the Vega 8 it seems that the Vega 8 has better support for decoding than the GeForce GTX so you can choose which one to use for your particular software maybe there are some software is heavily relies on the CUDA technology or some other NVIDIA technologies so you can make it to use this GeForce GPU as for others because we have connected the monitor uh, to the motherboard so the AMD Vega 8 is actually the default GPU for every software here we try to convert this short video about one minute from 1080p to 720p okay here we set to high quality and here's the video these are by default to use the CPU and here we can choose either the AMD or the NVIDIA encoder first we try the AMD Okay, we start and here we can see the codec usage of the Vega 8 so it's about 36 seconds to finish this job okay then we try use the NVIDIA encoder we rename it to NV start encode and here we can see that the NVIDIA GeForce 650 is now encoding it so it's uh, 34 seconds seems the media works faster on this software than AMD Blender can recognize both of the graphic cards here and it can automatically enable the CUDA technology in the GeForce GPU so in this way you can use two graphic cards on your computer and you can choose which software to use which GPU to make the work best I hope this video can help you thank you for watching see you next time bye